Hey everybody, this is Ed from the Whiskey Tangent Podcast here with another Whiskey Short. And as always, I'm joined by Scott. Hey everybody. And a plethora of entertaining guests for you all, including Anders. Hi. Rachel. Hello. And the always pleasant Marty. How you doing? <laughs> and Scott's going to tell you what we're going to do today. Yeah, so a few months ago, Marty brought his Pinhook 5 year, and we did a whole short about that. That came out in September. And Marty ended up getting the six year. So we're here to taste the five against the six and see how much actually changed in a year. Ah, bonus short. And uh, last time I talked about how the vertical series works, the horses that are on all the pinhook expressions, not mm -hmm. just the vertical series, as well as what a pinhook actually is. But I neglected to say two things. The five year we tasted last time and we're tasting today won a gold medal at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition, where incidentally, the neat glass is the official tasting glass, mm. as it is of our podcast. Absolutely. Yeah. And number two, I never said anything about the company itself or its founders, an oversight that I will rectify presently. This is mostly from vinepair.com. Pinhook Bourbon was founded in 2010 by three friends who found themselves with 20 barrels of whiskey and no prior experience in the industry. Which reminds me, Anders, you wouldn't have, have any barrels lying around? Three friends? Uh, no experience in the industry? Uh, two, 20 barrels? Two. Two barrels. Two empty barrels. We're starting our own company, Ed. There Sweet. we go. Um, uh, drawing on their individual experiences in a variety of careers, uh, from restaurateur to television producer, the partners have gone on to find success by combining their many talents. In addition to being hailed for its unique approach to whiskey making, Pinhook is often touted as a bartender favorite. Founders. That's pretty good. Okay. Which isn't surprising, considering that Sean Josephs, one of its co-founders, previously was the proprietor of three whiskey bars in New York and New Orleans, worked at the award-winning New York restaurants Per Se and Chanterelle, and is a certified sommelier. Today, he uses his refined palate to develop Pinhook's unique blends as the company's master blender and taster. As for the other two friends, both Jamie Hill and Mike McMahon share her family tradition in the horse racing industry before they became involved with Pinhook. As third-generation horsemen, the duo co-owned the bloodstock agency McMahon & Hill, along with Bourbon Lane Stables, a thoroughbred racing company based in Kentucky, which is where all the horse names came from. Uh, I'm going to drop in the vertical description from last time what these bourbons are. Pinhook's Bourbon Vertical Series is a unique opportunity to follow a group of 1,350 barrels of bourbon sourced from MGP as they age from 4 to 12 years in order to experience the arc of flavors throughout its nine-year history. Every year, beginning with the inaugural four-year release in 2019, Pinhook has selected and will continue to select 150 barrels from this allotment, blending and proofing them together, aiming to create the most balanced expression of the whiskey at that age. It's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, like we said last time, it's such an interesting concept, and this is why we're here. We have neat glasses with the five and six in them. They are bourbons. The mash bill is 75% corn, 20.5% rye, and 4.5% malted barley. The 2020, which is the five-year, is 104 proof, and the 2021, which is the six-year, is 107 proof. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So all we're really doing here is tasting them. First, the five. The five is the one that we've already tasted, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Just to remind us. Okay, here we go. So very sweet right away. Like just a lot of sweet notes. Yeah. And yeah. Very little ethanol. Orange. It, it, Oranges, yeah. Yeah. Definite corn. God, I smell so much corn on this for some yeah. reason. Yeah. To me, very sweet fruitiness. Like mm -hmm. not I mean, just orange, but like maybe like some dark fruits too. I'm smelling like um, nuts. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be specific, though. What, oh, what, yeah. Which nut are um, you? Like, mm. They're very distinctive. Cashew is way different than almond or pistachio. Uh, like um, like a hazelnut or maybe, I don't know. Um, oh, you just couldn't choose one of the three nuts that I had to have your own well, Oh, I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new? So I think I'm getting a little bit more like almond because I, I get okay. like almost like marzipan kind of oh. very sweet candy kind of note, which I'm also picking up on, Ed. Mm-hmm. Just compared to last time, it's a lot sweeter. The, the then oh, then re you remember and I, drinking and it. And I yeah. think in the smell, I think the glass actually think is glass bringing is out some of the. Uh, it does. Oh. You do get more intense the, notes. Yeah. yeah, and it does help the tasting also, as we'll find out right now. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's, Ooh. for five years, it's such a tasty. I mean, mm. it's alcohol forward. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's the proof again? 104 yeah. on the five. Not as, not as right. sweet as it smells. Right. No, I agree. Yeah. Maybe good. this is where you would want to put the five drops in because mm. it's much spicier. See if it does anything to open up some of the sweet flavors because I, it is very alcohol forward. Yeah. I don't remember it being this spicy. I don't either. 
So I get some rice spice right on the tip. Like not as much astringency as like really rice spice. It drops off really quick. Mm-hmm, it does. Yeah. It's very oaky. Did you pour at the end? The bottle I bought or the one that Marty brought? I, I poured your bottle. All right. I'm interesting if maybe it's a little spicier than his bottle. Oh um, my god, do we have to try another one? <laughs> do we have to go five versus five first? Oh my gosh. Get out five more neat glasses. <laughs> five, six, five. Get out the cots for right. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It is drying though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Woo. Mm-hmm. It's a, a nice, stringent. powerful little whiskey. Yeah, it is astringent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And once again, I got this after it was released by almost a year. So I got mm-hmm. like forty two dollars. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And the, by the way, the four was there too for forty one. I didn't buy it because Oh, we could have done the four I know, five I, six. I mean, but to me it's hard it's to a go lot. back <laughs> to the four when I know the five is gonna be better than that. That's true. That's true. So we're already doing the five, hoping the six is gonna be better because it's a year older now. Yeah, I mean, there's more orange, I think, on the smell than there is in the taste, but you can still taste the orange. Yeah. With the water, it's a lot sweeter. Oh, yeah, you yeah. got water on it? The six, mm-hmm. just so you guys know, I, I got it online. Sure. Uh, is where I found it. I, I believe it was uh, around 47 Well, oh, that's pretty oh, cheap. Oh, wow, it's pretty nice. cheap now, yeah. Yeah, but of course, with the, you know... The shipping, shipping. Oh, I know. Right. Shipping and, and goes and back I, up to MSRP. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, I, and they had like right away. Do you want the six dollar damage uh, insurance? And right. I'm thinking, uh, <laughs> what the hell? Six. Bucks. I feel like if you don't get it, they just slam it on the floor. Well, well <laughs> like, I, I got it. A, I got to it. Screw you over, right? It's like, oh, you don't smash there. Enjoy your shattered glass and Ed wet smash shipping. Enjoy your smashed whiskey, <laughs> I you feel, cheap right. bastard. I almost feel like, the, like, like, like almost like a mafia like henchman coming right. to like get protection money. Yeah. The container this thing came in. It's not plastic. This thing, I'm saving these so yeah, I can yeah. show oh, them. them. I've seen them. Are they yeah. like puffy plastic? Yes. Things? Yeah. Yeah. Hard hard. Plastic. My God, puffy so plastic. Cool. That was yeah. going to be my rap name. Puffy plastic. <laughs> 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 All right, puffy. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> There's no way anything would have broken that box. No, I know. No right. Those are really cool shipping yeah. containers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gosh, with some water, this is really good. It, is. it so, really yeah. calms down the heat of it. Yeah, water is essential for this. I say. It's much creamier. It's like a, it's almost like a creamsicle. Yeah. Because you got the orange and the vanilla flavors coming in there. I have yeah. to tell you, though, it is definitely more fiery than I remember. Yeah, it is spicy on the end. Very spicy. Ooh. Very spicy. I love it. <laughs> spicy. <laughs> Very spicy meat ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone's yeah. got it. Okay, so I, I think we were really close to our tasting. So I listened to our short again and <laughs> did our tasting notes from last time. <laughs> All right, right, yeah, right. So see if we match That's this interesting. time. Okay. Yeah, so on the nose, vanilla, banana, walnuts, burnt sugar, orange liqueur, and sour apple on the palate creme brulee orange citrus sweetness kettle corn and oak on the finish medium long with a syrupy mouthfeel and lingering rye spice yeah so yeah, yeah. So it was you spicy. said orange to the car and grand like as yeah. soon as yeah. i smelled it i thought oh, and, this is and a little we, bit evidently like it was rye spicy last mm-hmm. time because we said it so mm-hmm. we don't remember that it was like that no, but it was yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that kettle corn is right on the money i think yeah that was uh, rachel who said that oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Start moving, ready to move to the six, Scott? Or are we ready to go? Yeah, the, no, so. we can. Uh, well, I uh, think drink up your fives. Well, I'm going to save the five. I might want to go side to side with right. what I have left. Mm. Right. All right. So the six. Yeah, the can six. I'm just un- a little uncover. bit of a swirl. I'm swirling the neat glass. Yeah, uncover and swirl. The official tasting glass of the Whiskey Tangent Podcast. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> and, um,. Hmm. So it's funny, like things are the same, but there's a different sequence of what's coming stronger. Yeah. Definitely more burnt vanilla and creme brulee type smells on this one. And the citrus is a little bit more mm. muted on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. Not as much citrus on this. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I smell no. really yeah. sweet. Yeah. I don't yeah. get the orange. Yeah. yeah. Runs again. Very sweet on the nose. I'm not getting orange. Oh. I'm getting, do, is anyone else getting that vanilla though? I mean, I'm getting like a butterscotch. Yeah. I mean, right. Same thing. Yeah. Same like kind a, of family. Like, like a, a toffee, a caramel. Sweetness. A, yeah. a darker, maybe. A, maybe a burnt sugar, maybe? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Like a, yeah, is you know, that what like you're saying? Brulee, like we, uh-huh. yeah, kind of like we had last time, but I'm definitely smelling it more this one than. But right, a little deeper. Or like, a, like a Dolce de Leche, where it's oh. kind of like that caramelized creaminess. Ooh, no, I don't nice. even think in French, so I didn't think that, but. <laughs> Spanish, my bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know. That was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, it did. I have Spanish people all through my family. See, si, see, si. you guys cover it again and and, yeah. and, and do it again. It, okay. it really, it, it's amazing how much more you get. Yeah. Okay, when you cover it and do a little bit of a swirl under it. Yep. Yep. Kind of release some of the uh, aroma. I'm afraid I'm gonna spill it. And then when you take it off, the ethanol gets destroyed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sweet. 
Yeah, that's really the sweet. The sweetness really comes out. Yep. Ooh, ooh. All right, so let's try it. We've been really patient. So now I'm going back to the kettle corn comment. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I kind of smelled a little bit right then, as Marty recommended, a little bit of cherries. I noticed it's a little bit smoother. Much smoother. Neat. Uh, with no water yet. Still, oh, it's much yeah. smoother. Oh, my God. It's much sweeter. Oh. It's so f- I cannot wait to be like three years out with this and the, seeing what the we're doing. Flavors yeah, are definitely deeper. Yeah. 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 Five oh, yeah. feels like a little bit harsh now by comparison. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm right there with you. I'd like, I want to try like an eight year. So now you're committed. We, we're going to oh, come yeah. back oh, and do yeah. this two more yeah. times. Okay. We're going to have to get <laughs> Absolutely. We're in touch with Pinhook, and they're going to have to get involved with us because mm-hmm. if we're going to do this every year for the next. I mean, you know, it's causing me to go out and exercise a bit more because I want to live long enough to taste the last expressions. <laughs> what is that, like 12 years from now? Yeah. <laughs> so. Right, right. That was your comment last right, time. Right. My family average is three years from now, so I got to really work to get another 10 years in. <laughs> <laughs> what I was uh, smelling the cherries that is followed right on the palate. I taste a lot of cherries on this. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you guys taste that? Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, more uh, cherries than citrus. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The citrus is not really present anymore. I have a little bit of it. I'm mm-hmm. not saying it's completely gone, but it's not the finish that it was. Now it's kind of like in the middle. It's like part of the transference of flavors. It goes by and then it ends with cherry. And for three proof points higher. I was going to say, mm, yeah. So much smoother oh, than the this first one. This is higher proof, but it's not as spicy. And not as spicy. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, more it's not met- drying on the tongue. No, it's a much better whiskey for one year. And I have to tell you, this is definitely showing how a spirit can grow in the barrel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was in a local liquor store, Scott, and they had a lot of expressions from Pinhook. Yeah. Including the number six vertical but they had a rye bottle and bond and they had a bourbon bottle and bond Mm. and they had a barrel strength Mm -hmm. and they had a regular bourbon yeah they had like five or six expressions so all of them have different horses you know this is the same horse on both bottles yes so bourbon war is going to be on for everyone yes okay guess what guys exclusive yeah my neighbor went to the liquor store today he knew i like pin hook yeah shot some bottles that they had in the store Uh uh-huh there's another vertical yeah. It's uh, his rye time. Yeah, it's his so rye time. that's going to be at my house when I get back. Ooh, so nice. we'll have to plan another tasting nice. against. Right. So, against the, so the next the, one, we'll uh, do both is, uh, verticals. <laughs> right. This is bourbon war. The other one's, that was the five year, the yeah, tis rye time. The tis rye time is one year behind the bourbon one. So the 2020 was the four year and the 2021 is the five year. Um, it's 103 proof and it won double gold at the San Francisco oh, World Spirits oh, Competition. Everybody gets double gold there. <laughs> How many golds do they give out at that place? <laughs> shh, shh, the knee glass sponsors. All oh, right, the knee glass. Because well, everyone's the, drinking out of the knee glass. Right, and it everything tastes, so tastes delicious. good in the knee glass, it's Scott. Great. No wonder. <laughs> Actually, oh, my God. Be. Everything gets a gold medal in a knee glass. Yeah. Um, so let's see uh, the tasting notes for these. These are their tasting notes. On the nose, brown sugar, licorice, and toasted almond. Brown mm. sugar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. On the palate, black cherries, clove, and Tahitian vanilla. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Vanilla and cherry. We had both of those. Yeah. Uh, so finish uh, is spice, lingering sweetness, and oak. Yeah. I mean, I think not we, as much spice and oak, but definitely. No, but yeah. we crushed the vanilla and cherry. I oh, mean, yeah. 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 That was obvious to all of us. So there, yeah, there are things that I like about both of them quite a bit. And mm-hmm. they're kind of like a fun blend. Yeah. Because I really enjoyed the creaminess from the five year. Yeah, this isn't as creamy. It's more syrupy, I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the five was functional. For 40 bucks, you can't go wrong with it. It's, it's a good whiskey. Yeah, yeah. But this is- the six was much, much better. Yeah, I think we all really like the six. Yeah. I am now tasting the licorice. Mm-hmm. There's like almost like an oaty kind of mouthfeel. Oaty. But like, uh, like, like if you're eating like oatmeal, kind of. Oh, like Garfield's that- dog? Oh, oaty. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say oaty like Garfield's dog. <laughs> The it tastes like wagon. dog, or what are you saying? The, the, the tug hanging out? Uh, <laughs> I read every Garfield book when I was a kid like the, yeah. that would come out with Odie in it, like mm. and Nermal, the little cute cat oh, that would Nermal. steal his stomach. Oh, Nermal. <laughs> I totally forgot about Nermal. Of course, it's a fat cat that likes lasagna, and it's shocking that it was my idol when I was growing up. Uh, when, I, when I was Mondays. like Mondays. No, Mondays. <laughs> Did they call you Garfield? Was that your nickname no, in high school? No, Middle no. school, maybe? I didn't really have to. No, when I, except when I was a catcher, then I was Engelbert. But besides that. Oh, Engelbert. Oh, and Grossberger from Stir Crazy. I didn't like that one much. Mm. Oh. Cut all this out. This is sad childhood numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Random sad childhood memories on the Whiskey Tinge Podcast. I'm Scott. <laughs> I'm sad. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I'm sad I was, and vulnerable. I was fish and orca, so, you know. Fish and orca? Yeah, well, well, orca's not was, bad. Well, my last name rhymes with filet, so filet of oh, fish. Oh, so I, I got you. Fish <clears> for <throat> most of my grade school. Mm. Oh, fish filet. I see that. Well, yeah. Orca's better than that, though. What, did you beat the crap out of somebody? They changed it to orca real quick? Like, no, it was when, I, when no. I got to college, I was like 290. Playing. He murdered oh, wow. I was a tackle, so I was now orca. Because yeah. mm. they knew my nickname was fish, so they're going to call you orca now. Oh, that's much better. It was a whale at a poker table, and he murdered somebody, so he became a killer whale. 
Damn. Damn. Oh. Wow. There we go. Nice. He's a pacifist. What are you talking about? Oh, no. so that's not what he told us. No. <laughs> I'll pass a fist to someone's face if they act smart. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Puff plastic right there. Right. Puff, that's, that's just me going puffy plastic on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> puffy plastic from the street. <laughs> All right. Mother Fletcher's. All right. I do want to, because the last time we tasted it, it was not in these glasses. Right. No. right. And I have a feeling that that is enhancing and changing the... Uh, these glasses yes. are really good. Uh, I mean, that's yeah. why we reached out to them, because we really believe in these tasting glasses. I yep. kind of like them. Yeah. So, um, final thoughts. I think we all think the six is a little better. Yeah. Uh, I think we all think the five is fine, especially at $40. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice drinking whiskey. 12 mm. months. What a difference, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. that's a great point, Rachel. One year, and this is completely different whiskey, when we know it was the same whiskey that was here last year we just had it the five is the same whiskey left in the barrel for a year and now it's a six and the difference is extraordinary the proof and difference i guess it's just how they proofed it down and what they end up pouring i mean it's just i guess what they thought tasted better yeah so yeah. good for them yeah. for not making it the same proof to make it consistent yeah i love the fact that they judged it as a new pour yeah and, that makes and, and it does really taste good at the 107 like does. i love a 107 yeah yeah that's right there's a lot of 107 yeah. spirits yeah. out there that are really good yeah bakers, bakers. weller yeah happy van winkle mm-hmm. pure kentucky, kentucky xo, XO. yeah, yeah. So many. So many. All right, Ed. I think that's it. So if you have a chance to jump in on the pin hook vertical challenge, I say do it. We say do it. Yep. We're going to keep doing it. Absolutely. Yep. The six is better mm-hmm. than the five. And, you know, maybe we want to be more disappointed. It'll be interesting to see if like, you, if right. the seven or the eight comes up weaker than the year before. Yeah. So for the Whiskey Tangent Podcast, thanks for tuning in. I'm Ed. I'm Scott. I'm Anders. I'm Rachel. I'm Marty. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Later. Later.